The Constitution of the United States guarantees its citizens many rights and privileges. People not born in this country can declare their desire to become citizens, and for many of them, it is an emotional declaration. Today, that ceremony was held at the federal courthouse in Chattanooga. It's a solemn ceremony that many of us don't get to see. With a color guard, and a familiar expression of love for America. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America. This is an important ceremony for Tin Lee Brown, originally from Vietnam. She's one of 50 people representing 25 different nationalities who become U.S. citizens. She says it's a day she's been waiting for. Hard to say, but I very thank you. Um, my husband, my family husband, and all American. Thank you. I don't have to tell you that this is an important day because from this day on, from this day forward, you're going to be identified as a citizen of the United States of America. Federal Magistrate Judge Bill Carter told the group that U.S. citizenship has its rights, among them the freedom to speak out, the freedom to worship how you please, to benefit from government programs, and he reminded them of their obligations to vote, serve on juries if asked, and pay taxes. That I will support and defend, that I will support and defend the Constitution and laws, the Constitution and laws. And it was right after receiving her official certificate of citizenship and with her husband Thomas by her side, Tin Lee felt closer to home. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> My husband gets happy. Uh, she's happy to be here in America because of the opportunity it represents. Also becoming U.S. citizens this morning were four sisters from the country of Nigeria.